Oh, sorry, sorry, I was just picking some files. Uh, speaking of which, if you want to know how to pick files in your .NET MAUI application, stick around for this video because I'm going to show you how to do it. There are lots of scenarios that you can think of where you want to let your user pick a file from their device and then use that inside of your own .NET MAUI application. Maybe you're creating some kind of PDF reader and you want them to uh, pick a file and you're going to show that in your PDF viewer. Uh, maybe you're creating some kind of media uh, app and you want to let them pick sound files or video files from their device and show them that. So how cool would it be if .NET MAUI had something on board which is called, say, File Picker um, that would show a little dialogue which fits right into the platform that you're running the app on um, and it will show a little dialogue and that allows your user to pick one file or multiple files and you can choose like if they can only pick images or are you getting the hint yet? This is exactly what's built into .NET MAUI and what I'm going to show you in this video. If you've been around long enough and also worked with Xamarin, Xamarin Essentials, then this should look very familiar because this is the exact same file picker that has been implemented in Xamarin Essentials. Um, but here for .NET MAUI, now it's built into .NET MAUI itself, so no need for uh, another library that you need to install. It's just available for you in .NET MAUI. Let's go check out how to implement it. Here in Visual Studio 2022, I created a file new .NET MAUI application. It's just a default template, the waving .NET bot, you probably know it by now. Um, and I don't really need to do anything else. We don't need to install some other package like Xamarin Essentials because it's now built into .NET MAUI. Um, and I checked the documentation. We also don't need any special permissions for this. Um, so for Android, I was kind of worried that you need the external storage permission for this to actually read files from the external storage. Maybe if you still run into issues that you cannot pick files from the external storage, then you might still want to add that, um, but only if you really have to because you don't want to add too many permissions. To do that, go to your Solution Explorer under the platforms Android resources folder find your Android manifest.xml and um, inside of that just add this little read external storage permission and you should be all good to go um, but we don't really technically need it for the basic functionality here so let's start with our main page.xaml and for this image of the waving.net bot I'm going to add a name attribute here um, and I'm going to just name that my image and now we can reference this from our code behind and actually replace this image with something that the user has picked. Now, this is, of course, a very simple um, uh, example that I'm going to show you here, but this can be anything you want whenever you get the data from the file. You can um, process that any way that you want. I'm just going to show it inside of this image for now. So let's go to our code behind the main page.xaml.cs. And I'm going to replace this on counter click button code with something that is going to be our file picker. So I'm just going to start typing here file picker. And um, because I have the implicit usings enabled is going to automatically uh, know this is here. But if you don't have that, then make sure to add using uh, microsoft.maui.storage uh, here at the top. So if I would do that, you would have to do using microsoft.maui dot storage and that will be the exact same thing right so then it knows where to actually find it so um, file picker dot and then we can see three major APIs here. So um, file picker dot default, which is a property on the file picker. Um, it's a static thing actually, uh, which just gives us the default implementation of this file picker. Now, all the essentials APIs, including the file picker are now made available through dependency injection as well. So you can register it in your dependency injection container and it can be injected inside of this page and that will make for a little bit cleaner code, of course. I'm just gonna skip all that and go for the simple, um, 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 solution here, but um, it, it should work the exact same. If you want to know how to do it with um, dependency injection, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video for that. Um, so file picker, and then we have pick multiple async and pick async. So that's for one file or multiple files. Now let's start with the one file pick async. Um, and uh, if we inspect what that all does, you can see that it uh, returns a file result or well, it may be, it might also be null. So we need to check for that. And we can specify options the pick options with which with we can specify a couple of options that we want to use on our picker. So let's do that. Let's make a variable var result is await. Then we need to make this async and then we can specify the options here. So let's see what the options are. New pick options. 
And um, I think this has a couple of properties. So let's actually have a look at those. And we see the file types with which you can specify like the file types um, that you want to uh, allow the user to pick basically, which can be um, images, which can be videos. I think it has a couple of built in types, but you can also specify your own custom types. I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit as well. Um, and we can set the picker title, which is just a little string title that you can set. Um, please note that it doesn't always show on every platform and not every platform will show it the same way or not at all. So don't make sure that you don't depend on this to give your users any important information. Um, I'm just going to set it for now. The picker title, pick image, please. Sounds like something good. And the file types we have then, which is of type file picker file type. There we go. And you can set images. You can set it specific to JPEG, PDF, PNG, or you can set it to videos. And like this is just the built in ones. And like I said, you can do the custom ones as well. I'll get to that um, to near the end of the video. So let's just uh, do the images right now. And this is basically all we need to do to actually let the user pick an image. So we have this in our results. So we need to check if result is no, because that can happen. We're going to return. Um, typically, you probably want to, you know, do something else. But now I'm just going to return. I'm not going to process any further. Um, but else, I'm just going to get the stream is result dot because here we can get a couple of things from the file that the user picked. We can get the file name. Um, we can do open read async. So that's the thing that I want that to get the stream with the contents of this file. We can get the content type. We can get the full path. So you can get all these kinds of properties from our files as well. Um, I'm going to do this open read async. And I need to do the await here again so that it's actually uh, the thing that we need. And now I can say my image dot source is image source dot from stream, we can just create an image from a stream, and I can put the stream in here. And now whenever we do this, whenever I run this on Windows, let me do that while I'm talking here, it's going to deploy as a Windows application. And um, it's actually going to um, show us the exact same template that we're used to. But now whenever I click on the button, it will show me a pick file dialog, I'm restricted to um, just picking one file. And whenever I pick that file, it's going to open that in the stream, um, it's going to give that stream to the image source, and then it's going to show that image instead of our waving.net bot. Here we go. And whenever I click the button here, you can see that now this is our open file dialog. Um, here's a little surprise.jpg, but whenever I go to somewhere else, I don't know if I go to my downloads, is there something there? There's nothing here. Um, I don't have a lot of files in here. So here's another repository that is here. Um, you, can, you can see that not even the files are shown, right? There are files under here, but it's just not shown unless it's an image file. So let's go back to my pictures and I have this surprise.jpg and whenever I select that and do open, it's going to load this image here and it's going to ask you to please subscribe to my channel, which is a good um, reminder to do so if you haven't done so already. So that's how you can pick this one file. Now, um, you might want to also pick multiple files, right? Actually, before I show you that, um, I also deployed this to Android, we're not going to sit through that together. So you can see it here running on Android as well. And whenever I do it here, it's going to open the app that is, um, you know, used for picking files on Android. If you have multiple apps that can do it, it will first show you that little dialogue with hey, which app do you want to use for this? Um, you can see that I have the same image here in my downloads, I can just pick that and it will do the same thing and it will load it here inside of this image as well. Without any code changes, just deploy it on Android and it will work the exact same way. How cool is that? So back here, um, I'm going to do the rest on Windows. You'll now believe me that it works on Android and iOS as well, right? Um, so let's go back to our main page of XAML and I'm going to actually add a little new button here. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Let's just make this click me, um, pick image so that you know it's just one. And I need to pick a different name here, pick um, images. And this is going to be pick image so that whenever you go to the reference code, which is linked in the video description that you know how this all ties together. And here we're going to say pick images. Right, so I'm going to do that now. And I need a new event handler here. So we got all of this set up. Okay, so now I should have a new event handler. And now let's see how we can do multiples. So actually, let me just um, no, let me just just type it all for you again, um, results. So now we're going to add the s, uh, which is going to be await file picker. 
dot pick multiple async. So does that give us any new options? I don't think so. The pick options are still the same. So I'm going to not bother with that. Um, you can still restrict it to whatever, to images, to videos, whatever you want. Um, and here you can see that we return now an I enumerable of file results. So we're going to have multiples back, right? So you need to account for that as well. Um, so we're going to have that. We have this async. Okay, that's fine. Um, and now whenever we do that, we don't need to check for null because, you know, we it can't be null, it's an I enumerable, so it can have zero results, zero uh, items in there or, or multiple. Um, and we can just do for each var result in results. And what we're gonna do now is just say, and display alert, and it's going to be string title you picked. And then let's put some metadata in here. So we're just going to say result dot file name, right? And okay. So now if we're going to pick multiple, we're going to see this display alert for a couple of times with each file name, right? So let's see if that actually works. Run this on Windows again. So I now have two buttons. One will still have the old functionality that we've just seen. The new functionality will now loop through all the multiple files that we picked and show a dialog for um, each one that we've actually picked in here. So, um, you know, if you want to, if you're creating that media player and you want to use it to pick multiple um, sound files in one go, this is how you can do it and you can loop through all of them and do the processing that you want. So if we do pick images, um, I now can pick multiple. So let's go to my pictures and you can see I can do multiple. I didn't show you this, but this wasn't possible just yet when you did the pick async. Uh, you could only pick one and now I can do multiple and I can do open and not so surprising anymore dot uh, JPEG and also surprise dot JPEG, right? So you can see how I can pick multiples. So the last thing I promise you is to actually show something with um, the custom file types. Um, actually, I'm going to paste in some code here from off screen. So don't be scared. Um, I'm going to paste it in here and it's in um, comments right now. So let me uh, get that out of the way. So here you can set the custom file type and um, you can set the file picker file type. Um, you can create a new instance of that and you have to provide that with a dictionary of device platform and the I enumerable string. So that's kind of interesting. It's, it's a little bit more deep dive, a little bit more advanced. So go look at the documentation on how to do this. Um, and you can set device platform iOS. So this is like the uh, thing for iOS um, because, you know, this is a file picker. It's used for all the platforms. And now we have to specify for each platform that we want to support what it's going to look for. And um, like on Windows, that's probably the most um, um, known use case, maybe at least for me. Um, you can just specify the extension, right? It's just going to be .pdf because we're going to select PDF files here. But for iOS, you don't select the extension. You select kind of like the more metadata description for this. And you're going to have to specify the com.adobe.pdf and that's how you restrict the file picker for PDFs. Same thing for Android, you have to uh, specify the MIME type um, and you can specify multiples in here because we're doing the I enumerable, right? So you can also do PDF and I don't know, XPS, is that still a thing? And um, .txt, um, all kinds of files, you can make multiples here and it will allow for that range, but you can also restrict it to just once and specify that for all the different platforms. Now this custom file type, we can then um, specify here in our options. So I can say here, new picker options. And inside of that file types thing, I can now say is custom file type and that will accept that. And now I can only select PDF files. So if I should run this, I should probably fix this because UWP is not a thing anymore, WinUI. Um, and if I run this on Windows, then I would expect to now be only so, uh, be able to select PDF files. So let's see if that dialogue actually reflects that so that you that I uh, prove to you so that I'm a trustworthy person uh, and I'm not actually lying to you here on code and that whenever you you get to try this, it doesn't work and you have to leave angry comments, please don't do that. My channel is a uh, loving channel. I love every one of you. So um, here we are. And I did this in the pick multiple one. So let's do go here. And here you can see now here in this uh, bottom right corner, you can see it says star.pdf. So it only allows you to select PDF files. And you can see actually here in this pictures folder, the uh, images are gone because they're not PDFs and it's not even going to be shown to you. And that's how you can use the file picker in .NET MAUI.
there is not much more to say here. That is how you can pick files in your .NET MAUI application. Of course, how you're going to process this, how you're going to exactly show this to your user, that's totally up to you depending on you know what type of application you're making, um, but this should get you started. Now, if you're going to use the custom file types, that is a little bit more advanced, so make sure that you um, look up the documentation or of course, let me know down in the comments and I'll be um, on the lookout for your questions and comments and uh, respond to them when I can. There's one other thing on iOS you can actually pick files from iCloud, uh, but you have to do some extra for that as well. So make sure to check out the documentation. I'll put the link down in the video description. Please like this video if you've actually liked it. Thank you so much. That will help it spread to more people discover the joy of .NET MAUI. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And maybe you want to check out this playlist right here with more .NET MAUI content. Check out this video, which is recommended especially for you. And check out this button to see if you're actually subscribed. See you for the next one.